Hey everybody, welcome to part one of my updated AirPods user guide and tutorial, AirPods basic setup and overview. In this four part video series, I'll be going over how to set up your AirPods using iOS 12 and sharing everything you need to know about them, including how to use them with all of your various Apple devices and showing you how to customize them to meet your needs. So stay tuned. So let's first jump right in and learn how to set up AirPods on your iPhone. Before beginning to set up the AirPods, make sure to turn on Bluetooth on your iPhone, as they are a Bluetooth device. To do this, you can simply go to Control Center by swiping down from the upper right corner on your iPhone 10 or newer, or swiping up from your Touch ID model, such as an iPhone 8 or older. Once in Control Center, the Bluetooth control is in the upper left control panel. If it's off, make sure it's on. Remember, this always has to be on to use your AirPods as they are a Bluetooth device. Now to set up your AirPods, just open the AirPods case close to your iPhone and the pairing or setup screen for your AirPods will pop up. When it does, just press the connect button on the screen. Once that's done, they may prompt you to hold the pairing button on the back of the case. If so, follow that instruction. Then after that, the setup or pairing is complete. Your AirPods are now set up and paired with not only your iPhone, but all of your various Apple devices that share the same iCloud ID. Super simple, huh? Now whenever you want to use your AirPods, just take them out of the case and put them in your ears. The tone will sound to let you know they're online and ready to use. Now you can listen to your music, podcast, or even make that phone call. But how do you control them, you ask? It's actually pretty simple. By default, when you remove one AirPod from your ear and leave the other in, the play pause feature will automatically be triggered. So when you remove one AirPod, the music you're listening to will pause until you put the AirPod back in your ear. This could be really handy sometimes, so don't forget about this feature. I found it took me a while to remember this feature was there. By default, you can also double tap your AirPods at any time to invoke Siri and ask Siri to control them. Using Siri, you can increase or decrease the volume by saying something like Siri, increase the volume or Siri, decrease the volume. You could even specify a volume percentage by saying something like, Siri, set volume to 60%. You can also play pause the music or even move to the next or previous track using Siri. Siri, pause music. Siri, play next track. Siri, play previous track. You could even ask Siri to play specific songs or playlists. But what if you don't like using Siri, or on the subway or a location that doesn't have a signal? Then you can do what I've done and customize the double tap control. I'll be going over that in part two, how to customize your AirPods. So make sure to check that out. Also, don't miss part three, where we go over how to use your AirPods with other Apple devices and more. And then finally in part four, AirPods daily user tips and bonus tricks. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part two, how to customize your AirPods.